fact is that at its opening ceremony this week, the world's longest tunnel was ceremonially blessed by a priest and then ceremonially not blessed by an atheist. <laughs> So, uh, if, if you haven't seen it, it's, this is a new tunnel. It's the world's longest rail tunnel. It's called the Gotthard Base Tunnel, and it goes through the Alps, under the Alps, specifically. Obviously, it doesn't go over the Alps. Um, <laughs> um, they had this opening ceremony where they had uh, a lot of people uh, blessing it. So, they had a Catholic priest, they had a Protestant minister, they had a rabbi, and they had an imam, who all did the, did the blessings. And they also had an atheist there, just <laughs> to not pray for anybody or anyone. <laughs> Uh, I have a, I have a, f a photo of the blessing. So this is what it looked like. You see these five people standing here in the tunnel, um, and one of those five has no real function. <laughs> <laughs> Only kidding. Four of them have no real function. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so, but they, they've had this, um, it's an amazing tunnel and they've had an incredible fiesta. It was fiesta. a, a ridiculous yeah. ceremony, wasn't yeah. it? It was to rival all Olympic opening ceremonies. <laughs> um, so, it's, so it's confusing when I started looking into this and the first BBC article I opened, which was just about the opening ceremony, had a warning at the top saying contains nudity. <laughs> <laughs> But it, but it does. Um, yeah, there was a topless gymnast. You can what? see even in the videos that the people in the room were just like, what is going on? <laughs> it was just the most awkward... I think they just expected a ribbon to be cut or something like that. <laughs> and suddenly people wearing work workers' outfits for construction started walking through. And then they started... And then, yes, yeah, so nudity started coming out. There were people dressed as animals. Um, yeah, it was absolutely bizarre. It was great, though. It was really exciting. And yeah. this, is, this is a cool time. <laughs> um, so, so, although we've all missed the opening ceremony, guys, don't worry, because this weekend there's a festival happening. Woo! I know. So uh, they anticipate about 100,000 people are going to go to the festival this weekend. Um, and the stuff on display, the entertainments that they played on, sound amazing. They say there's going to be a train simulator. You get the chance to view the maintenance and intervention centres. You get to hear specialists telling you about the fire and rescue train. Um, it's going to be live. There's going to be live Swiss watchmaking. A, a 200 square metre display about freight transport. And also on the website, it's trying to zhuzh it up a bit. So it says a festival without music would be like a Gotthard base tunnel without trains. <laughs> Oh,